Nice. Some good for it. Yes, Mr. Uh, is this a uh, that thing? Yep, only it's new and fancy. Come on, old 64. That's a central trimmer for you. We're underneath my 20 F-150, my daily driver, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil, and then we're gonna do a comparo of the old filter and the new filter, and I got Miss Bit 64 with me. She's holding the light for me, and we just got underneath the truck, and notice there is no under truck shield. So apparently when the oil was changed in the past, the dealer decided not even to uh, put it on. So we can go ahead and take this oil plug out. There we go. All these take is the quarter turn. And I drove the truck today hundreds of miles from Dallas and then it cooled off over lunchtime, so it is, it is hot. Come on, guys, there we go. Yeah. And notice I have the oil pan sort of back behind, so there it goes. Making a mess, but that's okay. <laughs> it's six quarts of oil. That's what cardboard is for. This is that new drain plug right here. Yeah, that's why you wear PPE, I was wearing plastic gloves but uh they ripped so i put on my mechanics gloves okay battle here we are on the top of the truck i just opened the drain plug and made a huge mess i'll have to clean it up better once we move the truck but we need to go ahead and disconnect the upside down oil filter housing <laughs> so it is a 27 millimeter socket. Go ahead and listen, and you'll hear a little bit of oil drop in to the pan underneath. I've been having the dealer change the oil, and they got this on there Gorilla Tight. I'm sure there is a speck, but uh, once we replace the filter, Goot and tight will suffice. There it is. Whoa. The oil filter housing and oil filter. Let's go ahead and get back into the shop and do a Comparo battle. So here we are in the shop battle. And here is the new oil filter with gaskets. And here is the old oil filter. I have some uh, snake oil right here that I'm going to add to the six quarts. And then here is the old drain plug. Here are some new drain plugs that I got. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark the drain plug before we put it back in so that when I take it to the dealer in about 6,000 miles and they change the oil, we'll see if they replace the drain plug. I've read on the forums that that is supposed to be done as part of the oil service. So we'll see. Here we go. The old one and the new one. Oh, the new one is All right. Here. Just mark one side of the plug and we'll see if it's still there once we get the oil change next time. Here's the uh, Motorcraft filter and it's actually uh, Fox Lima 2062. And you might see 2062 Alpha, like this one, or 2062 Alpha Whiskey, but they're all the same. And actually, this Motorcraft filter was cheaper than the Wix filter, so I bought it. Because you can get a uh, veteran's discount from the local auto parts stores. Make sure it comes with new gaskets, and there's no up or down. So let's go ahead and uh, get the large gaskets on. And that small gasket needs to be replaced as well. It's just cantankerous sometimes. There are the large ones. And there's the small one. There's only one small one? Yeah, it goes on the end. So, 
We got ourselves a flat bladed screwdriver here. That guy comes off easy. Yep. Old. Here's the other old one. So we'll replace the two large ones. There's the top one. And there's the bottom one. Pull this guy out. He has about 6,500 miles. We'll go ahead and uh, replace it. Here's the old filter with 6,800 miles. Here's the new filter. So we'll put the new filter in the same way the old one came out. And then here is the small gasket. I read on the forums that uh, you need to be careful with this housing in that it's a good idea to replace the filter and then take the small o-ring off work smarter not harder there we go the old, the old one, one the here's the new one there you go finally got it battle nothing's damaged there it is all right ready to go back in with the plug and the paint on it and then let's go ahead and get our snake oil now the 27 EcoBoost takes six quarts of oil. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the snake oil. So like I said, I have another one of these out there and it's uh, five quarts. So this snake oil is just shy of a quart. And let's go ahead and use our 5W30. These modern engines, they have a variable valve timing with cam phasers, so you want to make sure that you use the manufacturer's specified oil weight. Wouldn't want to run a 15W40 in my 20 F150, but I run that 15W40 in uh, all my other cars, my 96 and 71 Oldsmobile as well as my bullnose Ford truck. So, let's top her off. Yeah, Dad called the other one snake oil because they say, oh, you gotta use it. It has advanced formula to extend the life of your engine. But it's just all hype. Can you see it, Battle? Just about right where the bottle bends. That's a full quart. So, we're ready to go back out there Put the plug in, put the new oil filter in, and top her off. So, Miss Vic, can you carry that? Yeah. All right, here's the new plug. I put a little bit of oil on the O ring. I make a horrible mess underneath here. Yes, you did. We got Miss Bit on light duty. Dadgum, I do not like these uh, plugs and I know that the manufacturer went to these so that idiots working in the shop wouldn't strip out oil, pu oil pan uh, bolts but uh, you know that's what happens when you hire somebody that doesn't know anything about engines to uh, change oil so I can see it from my angle battle. There's a little bit of orange paint on the oil pan drain plug. So we'll see if it's there after the next oil change at the dealer. Yeah. All it takes is just snugging it up. There's no more guten tight or torque spec like there was in the past. So let's go to the top and uh, fill her with oil. All right, Battle, here we are back up top. We got the new filter with the new O-rings on it, and I lubed them up a little bit with oil. Got our wrench here, righty tighty. And you just want it snug, Battle. Do not crank down on it. You don't even have to go an extra quarter of a turn or make it guten tight. Just snug, that's a plastic housing, and if you crank down on it too much, or put the beefy boy on it, or make it gorilla tight, you can damage that housing. 
So she's in there. All right, Val. We got the plug at the bottom. We got the oil filter housing and new oil filter on the engine. So now we're ready to add the six quarts of oil. BT is the big funnel. Yeah, Dad is pretty proficient at making a mess. Here's the five quarts. Our plug is in. The oil filter housing is snug. Mm -hmm. So we do all five quarts and plus the extra quart, which has the snake oil in it. Come on, old 64. Now, Ford calls for 5W30 synthetic blend. So that's what I'm putting in it. There's five quarts. And here's the quart of snake oil. And I, we had topped it off there in the shop. Well, I was concerned that I might have filled this a little bit too much, but since I'm dripping all over the place, I guess we're gonna be just fine. All right, six quarts. All right, I'm gonna grab this funnel, and then here's the cap. Make sure you put it back on. Mama actually had an experience where her little Ford Fiesta was uh, smoking oil because they left the oil fill cap off. So do what right looks like, Battle. Okay, let's go inside the truck and make sure that we're set up for the next oil change. We can reset the oil life monitor. All right, Battle. Here we are in the truck. And Miss Bit and I, our positions are reversed. But I am not sitting in her kid's seat. She's going to go ahead and reset the oil life monitor. So go ahead and hit the OK button because it's telling us that the hood is ajar. And it hit OK again. All right, and now we can see the compass. So go ahead and press the right button. So this way, the arrow right next to OK. This one? On the other side. Yep, press over. So now it's the settings. So right now it has advanced settings selected so go ahead and hit OK and then it has vehicle selected so hit OK and then it has oil life reset selected so hit OK and right now it says oil life reset I had 30 percent of my oil life left over so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down OK and it's gonna show a little status bar go so hold it down resetting 100 percent all right, good job, Miss Bit. Let's go ahead and uh, press left next to OK to go back. All right, now press up, and it says trip two is selected, so go ahead and hit OK. And it shows that I've gone 7,025 miles since my last oil change, 178 hours of runtime, and I've averaged 19.5 miles per gallon. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the OK button to reset that. And it says resetting. And there we go. So Battle, thanks for helping me out today. We got the oil changed on my 20 F-150. I'd have to say that I do not like the plastic oil pan and the plastic oil pan plug. Ford really dropped the ball on that one. Make sure you watch one of these other videos that I've done in the past. And I'll see you next time, Battle. So we'll put it in this uh, spare container I have. Because they say, oh, you got to use the snake oil if you want the engines for life. <laughs> but then, yet yeah, see, Miss Bit's laughing. She knows when's the last time a modern engine had bottom end damage.